Right now, we do have the pollen count in. We have four allergens that are low. Mold, hackberry, oak, and mulberry are all low. Now, oak, the peak season for oak is April, so we're approaching peak season. We've only seen mo uh, mo <laughs> We've only seen oak up to moderate levels uh, so far. We have not yet seen them up to high levels, but I think it'll happen soon. One of the reasons why is we're starting to see those oak leaves fall. And people have asked me before, Sarah, why, why do the oak leaves fall in the spring? And the reason is because they're starting to pollinate and starting to get new growth in. And where do we get the allergens from? The pollen from the oak tree. So here's a live oak tree, very famous in South Texas. Live oak trees are called live oaks because they stay green. They stay lively through the winter. It's really only at the end of the winter and into the spring that they start to brown and those leaves start to die down. And what you'll get is you'll get new growth right behind those leaves, little buds right behind those leaves. And at the same time, catkins develop and those are those icky things that bring us all of the pollen that start to develop on those post oak trees, uh, pardon me, live oak trees. And so that combination of new growth and those catkins push off those old leaves and what you end up with is a lot of brown in your lawn, a lot of brown leaves, a lot of those catkins that have fallen as well. So that's why we see those live oak leaves fall in the spring rather than in the fall. It all has to do with new growth. And